Things William and Catherine will inherit following the Queen's death, their net worth is unbelievable. Since the Queen's passing, there have been a lot of questions over Queen Elizabeth's inheritances and who will inherit her money and jewelry in the British royal family. While her will is in public, there have been reports on which British royal family members will inherit Queen Elizabeth's estate and fortune, and which were left out completely. One thing's for sure, the assets will be spread out amongst the royal family, with Charles and William likely inheriting many assets and revenue-generating items thanks to their new roles as the king and the next in line to the throne, respectively. Forbes estimated last year that Queen Elizabeth's personal fortune was worth 500 million US dollars, encompassing her jewels, art collection, investments, and two residences, Balmoral Castle in Scotland, and Sandringham House in Norfolk. The royals will never sell most of these assets, guaranteeing that they can continue to pass them down the royal family tree, but they receive 25% of the income from the crown estate, worth some $19.5 billion, an allowance called the Sovereign Grant, which is divided amongst family members and used for what you might call expenses. Properties make up the lion's share of the royal wealth, with the family assets totaling at least £18 billion, or $21 billion. As the new Prince and Princess of Wales, William and Kate receive a majority of their income from a private estate called the Duchy of Cornwall, which was established in 1337 to financially support the heir to the throne. The Duchy of Cornwall, which provided the income for Charles and Camilla before they became king and queen consort, is funded through the ownership and operation of land in rural and urban areas, as well as islands and rental cottages in Wales, Cornwall, and other areas of the UK. In 2018, the Duchy of Cornwall made Charles and Camilla $28 million, which is around what William and Kate will make as well. It was claimed that around 50% of Charles and Camilla's annual income was spent on travel and official royal engagements, while a quarter went to taxes. The remaining $8.9 million went to Charles' children with his late wife Princess Diana, Prince William and Prince Harry, as well as non-official purchases and a royal savings account. William and Kate's income also included money from sovereign grants, a taxpayer fund paid each year to the British royal family. As the 25th Duke of Cornwall, William is expected to benefit from the annual net surplus from the duchy, which most recently added up to £21 million. The Duchy of Cornwall extends across the southwest of the UK, covering nearly 53,000 hectares across 20 counties of England and Wales. Of course, after nearly 700 years of ownership, the portfolio is very diverse. Moreover, as reported in September 2022, the Princess of Wales, Kate Middleton, was expected to inherit $110 million worth of jewelry from the Queen after her passing. The collection includes 300 personal pieces of jewelry that belong just to the Queen and not the Crown. She's been focusing on her beloved pieces and who deserves what. The whispers are that she's made some last-minute changes to her will that will be a shocking surprise for her heirs. Her wardrobe will likely be split mostly between Kate Middleton and Queen Consort Camilla, according to royal experts. Future Queen Middleton is likely to inherit a considerable number of Elizabeth's ensembles, as well as the lion's share of her personal jewelry. While Middleton gets first choice, Camilla will get the leftovers, she claimed. In case you miss it, the Queen reportedly did have her reservations about Kate as a future wife for William. Royal experts claimed Her Majesty always liked Kate, but was worried she didn't have an identity of her own before she married into the royal family. However, it seems the Queen's doubts were short-lived, and before marrying William, she was invited to spend some time with the Queen's Scottish retreat, Balmoral. Keen for Kate to feel welcome, the monarch then gave Kate many rare privileges. For your information, Kate is a working royal, but does not earn a salary. When not raising her three children, her day-to-day -day schedule is filled with official engagements, where she represents the family and monarchy along her husband.